Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of The Road to Glory here on FIFA 19. This is episode number 80. We are now four-fifths of the way towards our century mark. Now, uh, in today's episode, I'm going to be doing something which I've not yet done at all on the road to glory this year and that is play foot draft because we have a token and actually i've already got well i think i've already got roughly the points i need for division rivals so i don't necessarily need to really be playing it uh, and if we play draft we might be able to get some decent rewards which could in turn help boost our coin total before the weekend league so um a foot swap deal spc did come out and i was like yep I'm sure I've got the stuff in my club to go ahead and make that happen, and I did, so I went ahead and submitted. It probably wasn't the cheapest method, uh, but I had them in the club, and it was it was damn easy. So uh, I got another one of my players. We are now, uh, I think that was only literally like the second one, or like the first one that we've earned. The first one was given to us, and then this one here, we have, uh, we've just done the SBC for. Uh, so we are now two, two ninths of the way there towards... Uh, Towards Kazawa, or unless I change my mind again and we don't even go that route. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, but you guys know what the current squad is looking like. Uh, I did think that maybe we could potentially try and do this for the weekend league. And that would be to bring in Kevin De Bruyne. If I could somehow afford him, I don't think I quite can, but that would mean that we get a second player off chemistry. Um, it, Manalas is already on 8 chem, and then Kante would also be on 8 chem. So I don't know if that's uh, just like, eh, not really a wise move. And uh, De Bruyne is nearly 10 times the price of, uh, of Firmino as well. He's like 360 odd K, which is a lot, and we don't currently have that. Uh, so I don't know. I just, I've got this like urge to get De Bruyne in. I've also. Uh, I'm also like debating whether or not to get that Danny Alves. I feel like that Danny Alves is going to be one of the better sub midfielders in the game, like super sub midfielders, if you don't use him. And by the way, in the background, you'll just see like me building my draft. I get Ronaldo at the start. I nearly chose the icon, but I was like, nah, I haven't actually really used Ronaldo this year. I, I need to pick him. Um, and then from that, you just build off like a Serie A squad. It's nothing interesting. Uh, I'll speed it up, but you might see along the way where um, I might have made a mistake or two. I literally never play foot draft so please go easy on me i hope that i made pretty much the right decision each time just to build like a, a not a crazy hybrid or anything uh, but just a squad that might work and actually play well so uh yeah like we are this this whole de bruyne situation is like I could probably gut the club a little bit and, and be able to afford him and then replace Firmino. It would probably mean that I would have to sell Firmino. What else would I have to sell? I've got an inform or second inform Alisson, whatever it is in the club. I think it's just inform, isn't it? Uh, I've got, yeah, yeah. It's just like 86 inform Alisson. So uh, it's not the ones to watch, it's just the inform. Uh, so we could potentially sell him and that would make 40k or so. Uh, and then uh, what else have we got? Well, uh... I don't think there's much else that we could really sell. So I'm not sure where we would make money or how we would make money. I've got like a Glick, a UCL Glick. That's probably only about 4 or 5k. Uh, so yeah, we might not actually have enough for De Bruyne. But uh, I just wanted to get the like gauge it a little bit. Because if I get my rewards later on in the week, I might be able to afford him. Uh, and if that's the case, you know, do we go ahead and go for him? Uh, or do we play it based on who we get in rewards? Of course, you know, we don't know what the team of the week will be as of yet. And that will come out in like, what, two and a half hours time or so. Uh, so when that's the case, we'll know who we could potentially get in red. And I guess once again, I do need to leave it until I've opened up my red players to see what we could potentially get uh, in, in our... Um uh, as our cam because I do want to replace Firmino but there's no real easy way to do it especially if we're going to like keep Neymar <clears throat> and then keep the Serie A defense and stuff I don't quite have enough coins at my disposal to really change that team to like my dream squad or that future squad that I showed you in yesterday's episode unless we go massive on rewards which I doubt will happen uh, so this is how the team would play in game this is not how it would line up to begin with it basically me showing you that I'd bring on Davinson Sanchez and Salah and then sometimes uh, I would try and bring on here as well uh so we go on into our first match and the guy's got ronaldo he's also got two icons a couple of champions league road to the finals and i'm like what how how did i not get those picks i got one icon i guess but i never even picked him um so that was unfortunate but i was hoping that ronaldo would just be able to do the business for me and we do go one nil up uh now <coughs> 
No, I won't say that. I was gonna give something away, but unless you follow me on Twitter, you won't you won't really know what's going on. But uh, yeah, so come follow me on Twitter. Actually, speaking of which, I am uh, well since they did the last purge. I'm now like uh, 700 away from 100,000. So if you wouldn't mind coming over and follow me on Twitter, that would be insane. Uh, I'd greatly appreciate that. If we could get like 700 of you over, uh, so that I can hit that one that 100,000 subs. Uh, Twitter followers, should I say? I'm forgetting my words here. But that would be like all I want for Christmas is 100,000 Twitter followers. It would be insane, wouldn't it? What a present that would be. Um, but we're 2-1 up at halftime in this game. And to be fair, like it was a very difficult one. Uh, Foot Draft has a slightly different feel about it. I'm not sure whether it's on dedicated servers or peer-to-peer. -peer. It wasn't lagging. Uh, at all, but it just felt a little bit different. It's not the gameplay that I'm used to uh, and I was surprised that Ronaldo struck that through me. Like, I had a defender in the way and he still somehow was able to actually hit the ball through me. So that was quite odd, even though my leg was in between his legs at that point. That was a very strange situation to be in. But I turned the defender nicely with Mertens and because I hit that one with green timed, it was able to go past the goalkeeper and we're, we restore our lead to go 3-2 up. Mertens then plays it into Ronaldo keepers rushing me out as again as long as I hit that green I'm probably gonna score uh, I did so and for the first time in this game we get a nice two goal lead um, and it feels like I might actually come away with a win in a game which was actually really quite tough uh, talk about route one football then somehow that's worked and I strike it first time with with Dries Mertens and it flies in the back of the net and at that point I'm like yeah I have won this match I'm through the first round let's move on into to round number two uh, and then when Salah scores that as a volley I think he actually rage quits here in the 84th minute yeah I can see the pause happening now he's gone he's out of there he didn't want to hang around for the next few minutes he has been knocked out of the draft and we can per, uh, pursue our our well I, I want to win I'd love to win a draft I don't even know if I've ever won a draft I've never really tried uh, I, it's a game mode that I genuinely don't ever really go into uh, this guy had two icons as well, Seydorf and George Best, uh, as well as like Suarez and stuff. And it was it was worrying that he had such a nice team. However, uh, Ronaldo seems to be a complete and utter cheat code. Really, he does. Like, I'm so jealous of any of you out there that have a Ronaldo. Oh my god, he's ridiculous. Um, I think he's actually very expensive as well. I don't know if we would ever really be able to afford him without gutting the entire club. And actually, I've put quite a lot of my money into untradables, which I don't mind doing, but it doesn't mean it means that we're not really saving for someone like Ronaldo, which maybe we should do at some point. I don't know. We've got one of the next best things, which is Neymar. He genuinely is top tier this year. Although I've recently been thinking maybe I should sell him bring in someone different and change the team around again. I don't know. I don't I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm, I'm very much lost right now. Uh, I need to get really, really good rewards so that uh, those decisions are like made for me. Give me a sick player in this week's team of the week. Let me have him in red and then give me a great tradable player so that I can make loads of coins and that would be the perfect scenario, wouldn't it? So we're through round two. Uh, I, I make him rage quit after 3-0 uh, and that was really early doors. So I was like, okay, Fair enough, we're all of a sudden into the semi-final of the draft. Um, this guy's got 90 Griezmann and George Best, as well as Info and Douglas Costa. Looks like a nice team, uh, and for the first time, I think I actually go 1-0 down. And I was like, oh no. Uh, I basically bring on my sub straight away, by the way. I'm not wait I'm not hanging around, I'm not waiting for fitness or stamina to, to deplete for my others. I just want Salah on and I want my better centre back in Davinson Sanchez on the pitch. Now after 15, 16 minutes, we were able to get a nice equaliser there with Ronaldo. Oh, it was kind of lucky, I guess you could say. Uh, but Salah uh, cuts in, plays it across. Bonaventura is the free man. And because everyone was busy trying to mark Ronaldo and Mertens, it just left him with enough space to score the goal uh, and actually put me in the lead. Now this is one of the sloppiest and most terrible looking goals you might ever see. I think that might have even been a red timed shot that went in the back of the net. Awful. Awful. But I score it and we go 3-1 up uh, and then this happens. Smalling wipes me out because he was the last man, even though we're so far up the pitch, 
Referee gives him a straight red uh, for the, the, the dirty challenge from behind. He gets sent off, and I think he didn't want to carry on at that point. Do we get a rage quit right here? We do. So we make it all the way to the final with three rage quits. That's ridiculous. That's very, very good. Like, I didn't expect it to be this easy. Uh, and then we come into the final, and that's a nice team. Uh, he's got Royce, he's got Suarez, he's got Prime Sadorf. Uh, I just know that that trio of Man United players at the back is going to be difficult to get past as well, because uh, Fellaini's got loads of pace, hasn't he? If he's got loads of pace, then he was always going to be a difficult one to get past. Um, but... We go 1-0 down after three minutes. And I was gutted that Raul Garcia was able to out-muscle me there. I genuinely didn't think that was going to be a thing. And then take a look at that for the most random, ridiculous goal you've ever seen in your life. Eight minutes on the clock. I've already lost the final. I'm 2-0 down. What the hell is going on? Uh, and then to make matters worse, I, I go 3-0 down in 12 minutes. And I'm like, my God, I might as well just pause and rage quit. Because, well, it seems to be the way to, that how people operate in draft. Uh, but then I get, I kind of, I mean, I nearly mess it up completely. My God. Uh, but I get one goal back after 21 minutes. And I'm like, yeah, maybe we'll stay in it. Unless he scores again, uh, we'll, we'll stay in it. And he literally runs down the other end and scores on me from kickoff. And I'm like, well, he's just, he's just got us back to that three goal deficit, uh, which is, is not what I want to be in. However, look at that from strength and stuff from Ronaldo and an absolute cannon of a strike into the back of the net to get me a second goal back. Uh, so I carried on, uh, you know, I was, I kept going, uh, I was persevering and not long after I scored that second goal, I get through and score again with Ronaldo. So it's four, three right now with like half an hour on the clock, kind of mad. Uh, make that 5-3 with 32 minutes on the clock. My opponent runs down the other end and gets his two-goal lead back this time. Uh, and it's just mad that there's been eight goals in like 32 minutes. That is genuinely mind-boggling to me. However, I get through with Ronaldo once again, get another goal back. So I'm kind of hanging in there. After being 3-0 down, I'm not down and out right now. I, you know, I'm within one goal of being in this match. So at half time there had been nine goals. That's right. How ridiculous! Uh, and then he goes ahead and, and gets that lead extended once again. Six four now after 61 minutes. A good finish from Prime Sadorf right there. Um, but Ronaldo plays it in to Dries Mertens. I hit the post. I mean, it should have just gone in really. I don't know why I hit the post, but I assisted him like that. And then uh, from a corner in the 81st minute, Ronaldo is able to equalize finally for the first time in this game, 81 minutes on the clock. Uh, I actually was level with this guy. Now, Mbappe plays it out to Seydorf, into Suarez. Suarez just hits it. And, like, this guy knew the angles, just like I know the angles for finesse shots and stuff. Uh, and he was literally using and abusing just like I was. Uh, so, fair play to him. But I couldn't get in the lead. I score one in the 84th, 85th minute. You know, that was basically three kickoff goals in a row right there. And after 90 minutes, it's seven all, guys. We So we hung in there and we got back to, to equalize and draw. Uh, but we're pushing on into extra time now. And two and a half minutes, nearly three minutes past the... Um, the extra time there, you know, when it was only supposed to be two minutes. He gets his goal and he's back in the lead. But in the second half of extra time, I get the equalizer with Mo Salah. 109 minutes on the clock. It's eight all right now. And then Salah plays it through to Mertens. I've got a chance to go into the lead for the very first time in this game. 114 minutes on the clock and I am 9-8 up. What is even happening in this match? Um, yeah, 17 goals happened. I eventually won the game. After I was 3-0 down uh, and then 7 all after 90 minutes, I won 9-8. The first time in this match that I was in the lead was in the 114th minute. And I actually won the draft final 9 goals to 8. What an unbelievable scoreline. Probably one of the most ridiculous scorelines you've ever seen on FIFA. Uh, but we get a 50k pack as well as a 5k pack. I don't really know why that's there. But we do get a 50k pack, so I was pretty happy with that um, for our efforts. I mean, we got a free draft token from somewhere. I can't remember where it was from. Uh, so it basically, it didn't cost us anything to actually get into this draft. So this was all going to be profit. And as you can see, we're going to be getting ourselves a walkout in the 50k pack. Uh, and I see Croatian center mid from Barca. I was hoping it was going to be Modric. That would have been a little bit more coinage. But uh, Rakitic himself is nearly 30,000 coins. So um, 
yeah, pure profit off of that. It was just time that really, all it cost us was time. And considering we had three rage quits out of four, uh, it really didn't take a whole lot of time to complete the entire foot draft. So yeah, that is the episode for you guys today. I played my first foot draft. I won my first foot draft in uh, in literally ridiculous style right at the end there of the final. Nine goals to eight. Uh, a 17 goal thriller is just unheard of it's it's kind of mad but i hope you have enjoyed if you have do me a favor smash a thumbs up on the video uh, i think we could hit 1412 likes today for that draft win and a walkout player pack um so yeah smash a thumbs up subscribe if you're new have a lovely day i will catch you guys next time peace <laughs>